All right, so today we are defeating Ashava. Yes, I'm gonna give you five tips and tricks on how to defeat her, how to gear yourself to be able to get to at least having a fighting chance. She's gonna be five level over us, so we're gonna be capped at level 20, she's gonna be level 25, and she is going to be spawned eight times between the beta. So uh, in Eastern Standard Time, it's gonna be at 3 p.m., 6 p.m., 9 p.m., and then midnight. After that, 3 a.m., 6 a.m., 9 a.m., and noon. So eight times for this time. So basically, we're gonna get a lot of opportunities to kill it, but the challenge is we're gonna be under level. So level 20, she's 25. We don't even have our ultimate skills, and everything has been rebalanced. So I'm gonna give you five tips and tricks today on how to defeat her and how to give you the most amount of chances uh, to be able to get that beautiful horn of a shava on your on your mount when the game comes out. Uh, my game, my name is Go to Red Seas. Let's get it. So in the past two betas, uh, I've defeated Shava maybe six or seven times with all the characters, even once in hardcore. And uh, I can tell you, Shava is really, really difficult. But you, once you understand her pattern and what you are getting into, it's going to be honestly a breeze. Now I can't really talk on how it's going to be with five levels under and without ultimate skills and everything changed. But at least I can give you some recommendations on what to do to be able to give you the most amount of chances to get in into that battle. All right, so the most important thing, please be level 20 when you get there. If you're not level 20, not only are you going to take someone's place that is probably going to be level 20 and can dish out the damage and survive. But on top of that, if you are not level 20, you will not get the actual reward. They said it in the actual live stream. If you kill a Shava and you're level 17, 18, 19, whatever, if you're not level 20, you are not getting the cosmetic. So please, for the love of God, do not go into the crucible if you don't have the required level. Please. All right, once you are hitting level 20, you'll get a bunch of gear already. So this comes to the first tip that you need to do. Go and farm Core Dragon. It's on the top left of the actual map. I'll show it to you right here. The enemies are really, really hard, but what's really nice about it is you can actually just hop around, open the chests, and hope to find something in the chest. You don't even need to kill anything. Uh, if you are like me and you made a sorceress, here's a guide that's super, super relevant on how to kill everything. Since Hydras were actually nerfed, now it's going to be Firewall. Super easy, super nice. It's going to be one of the tips later on on the video. So if you want to see the full guide, it's going to be right there. Really quickly, I'll show you how to use the skills and how to use the actual guide. It does a lot of damage, but I'm not sure exactly if it's going to be the right move for a Shava. I'll do another video right after this one when I killed her for the first time. It's basically just like run around turn around the corpses and some items will drop and if you're lucky enough you'll get level 20 items and even if they are white or blue items it doesn't really matter because they can actually have a lot of armor on them and this is what we are looking for then you're gonna do the renown system you're gonna get yourself two more skill points yes really really important you go on your map you press w and you're gonna see if you free strongholds if you do dungeons and if you discover altars of lilith they're gonna give you points for them which basically is gonna unlock as you can see on top here levels and you get plus one skill plus one potion capacity and another skill point level one two and three so do these when you get level 20 because you will absolutely need them to kill a shot and once this is done, you will get 21 points to spend in your skill tree. After that, you can do it by yourself. Or if you don't really want to get yourself ahead of yourself and use a guide, I suggest your guides from maxroll.gg, Rax and Wudijo and all of these guys, they make really really great builds so if you are looking for something, go on maxroll.gg, they're gonna give you even a level 20 of every character exactly how to build them to be able to get the most amount of damage output possible all right so now we are level 20 we get the level 20 gear and on top of that we got our skill points and we use the guides to be able to get the most amount of damage output we can on a shava this is tip number four this is how a shava's mechanic works so depending on the character that you've chosen, uh, I am going to do an example here with the Sorceress because it's the one I am playing this time. You will want to be really far away or really close because this thing can actually happen. What she's going to do is basically spew a lot of poison in the ground. What you will want to have is defensive mechanism. If you have a Sorceress, I would suggest you to use Flame Shield and Ice Shield or Teleport. Basically, so you'll have two different ways of to get out of her attacks if ever she 
rushes you or if you are in the midst of the call attack. Also, every character has attributes in the boots that they can get to be able to have plus one to their evade or a little bit more movement speed when you get out of it. Sorceress, they do have it. That's why I'm taking her as an example. You can have a plus one evade charge from the space bar you can use. So this is going to give you basically four ways out. You'll get two charges, you'll get your two defensive skills, and you'll be able to mitigate a lot of her attacks. So, so another tip is to basically lower the world tier we're going to fight Ashava on. Usually it's world tier 2 that we've done it in the past betas, but since we're level 20 now, uh, we're probably going to do it in world tier 1, just to make sure to have the first kill, and then we'll see for the others uh, to be able to make sure that we can actually kill her in world tier 2 also. So here are the attacks that she's going to do. She's going to do the claw attack like this, which is always followed with another one, so be sure <laughs> to wait for this one because you're gonna get wrecked she can jump around and then do the follow-up attack again with the claws she can spew from her mouth poison and then the poison is gonna stay on the ground so you got to be really careful on that too she can basically bite from the ground or stomp it you're gonna see an area of effect on the ground before you see that and like i said before she can spew uh, basically poison from her mouth so really be careful if you are a PV if you are a melee attack so if you're close range be careful try to get the most amount of attack damage possible before getting the hit i know it's really really a basic skill but also, try to use the legendary items that you get from the campaign if you've done it. If not, it's really okay because you can get something from dungeons also that's really good. It's basically a barrier. I'm going to show you how to get it on the next step. And here is another tip of advice that you can get. Try to get plus one rank defensive or skills onto your amulet and really good resistance on your rings. Plus, you can get something like aspects to be able to absolutely guarantee a legendary item on your character let me show you how it's done exactly when you go in your codex of power when you've done actually dungeons in the game you will unlock these if you unlock the ones in the fractured peaks which is the region we can only get in the beta you can get the aspect of the protector aspect of the protector is actually really good because you can get a barrier on your character without even having to uh, get a legendary item and once you are done with the dungeon, the Lost Archives, you go back to the Occultist, click on the Codex of Power, you'll be able to choose the actual aspect that you want, which is the aspect of the Protector here, and it's going to prompt you which item you'll be able to use it. You only need a yellow item to be able to put the Codex of Power in, it's going to cost you 6 yellow shards and some money and there you go there you have it these were the five tips to be able to kill a shava on the server slam at level 20. i hope you guys are able to kill her or kill it it's gonna be really really tough but don't forget put yourself into world tier one get the level 20 gear get the plus two skills from your renowns and uh, get your aspects of power from your codex of power to be able to create your own legendary items Use the guides from maxroll.gg if you don't have one and have a lot of fun because this is going to be one hell of a ride. My name is Ghost of Red Seas. If you do like this kind of content, please leave a like, a comment and a subscription. It is a free and fantastic way to help this channel. And on top of that, you get a chance to win a copy of a game that I'm covering, which is Diablo 4. The giveaway ends June 1st. Peace!